Good morning, Pisces. How are you? Good morning. Don't forget to wear your mask. Put on some gloves. Wash your hands. Don't put your hands all over your face, which I always do. And uh, Pisces, this is my ankle bracelet. I came up with this one. Okay, so perfect. All right. So thank you all for everybody going into my web and purchasing things for me, getting private readings. Um, thank you all for doing that. Um, thank you all for loving me. Like, sharing, and subscribing. Please don't forget to subscribe to my channel and give me thumbs up. And, you know, I can't please everybody. So it is what it is. So let's get moving with the reading. I did not do the split card reading last night because I was too busy uh, filling out orders to send out to y'all. So here we go. All right, so my apology for those who was waiting on it, but who I didn't get to bed till like one o'clock in the morning, talk to a Pisces, and then I went to sleep. And I'm up early. I've been up since 5 o'clock trying to finish making bracelets. And that's the life I live. Okay? Thank you, Pisces, so much. I'm trying to get find out how I'm doing this podcast. I'm still trying to figure that one out. So let's get going with this. All right, Pisces. It looked like it's going to rain today. I don't know. It's very cloudy. Okay, you got the seven of wands. Seven of wands. Don't wands keep falling, y'all, and I don't know, you know. Uh, oops. These wands are all over the place with us, so. Fire sign. They following us like crazy, right? All right. Aries, Sagittarius, or Leo. You got the star. Ooh, 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 ooh. You got the Ace of Wands, and this one just happened to flip out, the Queen of Cups. So, you got Fire, and you got Aquarius, and then you got the Queen of Cups, Pisces in a motherfucking house, early in the damn morning. What's popping? All right, now. I feel like um, you're standing up for what you believe, having confidence, challenging those in power, but be wisely about how you challenge um, the situation. I feel like um, you might have gotten to an argument with someone you care about, but, um, or, you know, it's a lot of disbelief in the situation here. Um, but you stand enough for what you believe in. I feel like if you are with someone or whatever it is, um, if a person can't see you or help you or whatever it is that you need, and it's always a battle, you only one person. You can't be all over the place. I just feel like you stand enough for what you believe, and you're not going to put, you know, get all nasty about it, but you're doing it in the classy way. Right, and you're standing up with confidence. You're like, ah, I'm too old for this shit. I ain't got time for this shit no more. I mean, listen, some people can't don't know what to argue with about, so they start throwing shit that already happened in long time ago because they have they don't even have a leg to stand up, so they just want to go on about shit that don't even matter. Okay, so this is standing up for what you believe in. And remember, when you say things to people, people say things to you, they can't take it back once it's said. So um, that's the problem. I feel like, you know, people think they can say whatever they want, but then they forget Pisces are like sponges. And so we don't forget what they say. And that's the problem. Once we know that people are still on the same game and same nonsense, nah. 
we give them chill pill and let them chill by themselves or whoever they want to be with. But it ain't you. Baby, please. Aquarius. Aquarius is um sent here. Okay. Um, after people say what they want to say, then they think about it. Okay. But Aquarius here is filling out the water. Right back in the um, lake, river, whatever it is, honey. How you going to take water to where water's already at? It's insane, isn't it? Crazy. This Aquarius is not wishing upon a star. This Aquarius is going back to the ocean to spill some more water into the ocean. Pisces, check it out. One thing about you, you are the ocean, Okay. So when people come to bring some more water into the ocean, you know the shit is fucked up on their end because the ocean is already filled with water. Why would you take uh, water to where it's already water? It's like, why would you take to, uh, sand to the beach when the beach already has enough sand? Okay, and that is the same. Why take somebody with you when there's enough other people there? Okay? And that's what it's telling you. All right? Have faith the future is brighter. The plans come true. Positive changes that bring an end to a challenging time. Okay? The light at the end of the tunnel. Stand up for what you believe in. If it ain't a change in a situation, and you don't see the light, and Aquarius don't see the light, and they want to challenge you, baby, 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 it's just a waste of time for an Aquarius to try to challenge you, okay? But your plans, or whatever it is that you're doing, you're going to be good. You're going to execute it, all right? In everything, this challenging time is going to end. You're going to be good as far as doing what you want to do. Okay? But that challenging time with an Aquarius, it's going to end. Okay? Um, you're going to see the light, or they're going to see the light at the end of the tunnel. Because, baby, 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 you can't take water to the beach. The water, beach already out water. You can't take water to the lake. The lake is already filled with water in the ponds. Baby, what they think? It's enough there already. It's already there. So stand up for what you believe in. Because everything you're doing, you're getting, they, it's pouring out for you. It's an ending of a situation that is trying to challenge you when you're busy, too busy doing everything. And it's like, if you want to fight me, what is it? You want to throw darts at me? What's up? And that's what it is. Someone is challenging you. But it's an ending to the shit because who got the time for someone? Who got the time to do a lot of work with someone? And on top of that, they popping at me crazy. See, I believe like this. When somebody wants to give me a hard time and I'm with them or whatever the situation, whoever it is, if you ain't bringing nothing to the table, if you act like you don't, you care but you don't care, if you tell me words that are reminding me about the past, if you acting like, what is it? Bring the truth out of you because, I, you know, why are we going through childish shit? I'm only one person. You understand? That's how you should feel. You're only one person when you got a lot of things going on. It's not like an Aquarius. Aquarius people, first of all, they want to be baby. They ain't trying to go the extra mile for you or anyone else. They not. Everything is a lot for them, but they want everything for them. They don't want to do, they don't want to come to the table with shit, but they want you to bring it to them. And that ain't how it go. So that's the challenge in here. But it is what it is. You understand? So you got the ace. 
a waltz, that fire sign. Okay, again, Aries, Sagittarius, or Leo. You got a lot of wants here. You got, right now in your reading, you got more wants than anything. So, an amazing opportunity. Amazing. Don't let no one stand in your way of what you want to do for yourself. Because remember, people will challenge you. And when you're busy, oh, it ain't good. Because you really know how to say, look, I have enough of this shit. I got to get on my ball. I mean, you sidetracking me. What the fuck? You ain't bringing me nothing but a lot of bullshit. And you're sidetracking me for my fucking money and what I got to do. So when you turn around, you are so busy with this bullshit that you have a lot of shit that's actually piling up with what you need to really do. Okay? So, now, nah, you put shit on the side and you move on with your money. And that's what it is. Ain't got time for no bullshit. But you have an amazing opportunity here. Be bold about it. Encourage. And I, okay? And be optimistic. All right? Now is the time to take action. Do what you passionate about. And that's what it is. Whatever you got going on, don't let no one stop you or sidetrack you from what you got going on. Because people do that. You, you get in a situation where you want to be with a person or whatever it is. And then you find out, damn, this person is sidetracking me because I can't get shit done. And it seems like you're running a race. But what you running a race for? Because if you're with somebody, don't, isn't that somebody supposed to help you or make things a little easier for you? But I feel like if it's Aquarius... They ain't trying to make shit easy. They trying to be complicated. But they sit there like they ain't doing shit. But they say the shit to you that really fucking make you think. What the fuck? If I, again, if I'm cooking, cleaning, doing YouTube, can't get to my own package and all that because too busy trying to make someone else happy. And it don't go that way. And once she start popping shit, then you really know that, wait a minute, I'm doing too much and you popping shit? Nah, I gotta go. And that's what you do. Why? Because you got the Pisces. And you got tarot. So, someone may be here reading tarot, or so seeking or watching a lot of tarot. And looking at the ocean, not looking at the land where people and shit is at. Now you're meditating. You're you're going back, okay, because you already know what it is. So you're like, nah, I need to get right back to what I need to do because that's what the spirit tells you to do. You in a different level. You ain't putting over shit. So when shit start popping, you say, ah, let me go make my money because that is therapy to you, okay? It ain't a relationship like it used to be. The therapy is in your Okay, meditation in something you like to do, making candles, whatever it is, making jewelry, whatever it is, making money, whatever it is that you got passion to do. That's what you are now so in love with rather than be in love with a human being that ain't nothing but problems to you and driving you fucking nuts. Okay, so you, you now you're going to start separating shit and now you're still coming into the you because you always going to have trials. It's someone testing you. And it may be somebody in your past or whatever it is. But I know one thing. Don't let no one sidetrack you to the point that you're making everything second to them because it ain't worth it. Do you understand? All right. You're very in tune and you know it. Right? Love and compassion. That's what you are. You're a loving person to these people. You're compassion. You see through them. You sacrifice yourself and you put them first before you. And you can't do that. Okay? Trust your intuition. It's a deep love. And a family and friends follow your heart. But let me tell you something. Don't try to overdo it. Don't try to... If, if someone don't see you for, where you for what you are and everything you're doing, 
and they still trying to bad you and oh you're not and this and that, uh uh or oh, I can't you're not even playing me no more or oh, you all over the place or oh, this and that or oh, you did it baby and wanna argue over dumb shit baby I ain't got time for that shit you know no cause you got other things to go on and do besides sit here and put up with childish something that nobody's helping you I mean they're not even helping you but they want all your attention and put everything on the side and can't get shit done and always talking about what you're doing and what you ain't doing and all this bullshit. But what about the help? Because when somebody loves you, they're going to help you. Okay? Not saying deal with it, do this and do that. Like, nah, we don't do that. And then you're backing up because you know you got something to do. And guess what? You know now that Whatever is important in your life, besides a human being, that's what the fuck you're going to do. Chain, 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 damn it. Why would I want to be in love with somebody, a human that is fucking trying to drive me crazy when I can be making my money? And guess what? Yeah, moving along. And I'm, I'm serious about this shit. I feel this way now. If you're not trying to be a part of me and my growth, when I got all this shit and I'm the one doing shit all the time, laying shit out, then guess what? You're not the one because I'm too busy to be putting up with bullshit. The time I'm sitting there with you doing shit, I could be in my house fucking doing a million things and ones that I need to do. You're sidetracking me. You're trying to take me out of my focus, but you're not. And Pisces, I'm telling you that because people do that to people. Okay. I'm on a whole nother thing in my life. I don't even, I ain't got time for this shit. I'm somewhere totally different right now, okay? And thank God I am where I'm at because I don't want to argue. I don't want to fight. I want to say what I got to say and move on. And ain't nothing else to say, okay? And deal with it because that's what I do. And how I deal with it, when I deal with it, I, make, I start making shit. Yeah, that's how I deal with shit. I'm not going to sit there and think all day about what took place. Fuck that. Because guess what? They ain't worrying about it. Why would I? Move on, honey. Because you got things popping off and you're in. And sometimes it ain't about a relationship. It's about your money. And the more you try to fit in a relationship, people ain't trying to see where you at. People ain't trying to meet you where you at. People are trying to make shit difficult for you. Difficult. they crazy. But now here it is. What do you want from me? Because I'm confused. Do you want me or you don't? What do you want? Balancing? Yeah, we got to balance. Yeah, break from this devilish whatever it is. Somebody like to drink party and all. Pisces, you already know. If I'm not around... None of that shit. I don't do shit. I don't do a damn thing. I'm a real fucking square. I like to be home. I'm always crafting what I do. Okay? To put on my web. Okay? To give people what they pay for. Alright? And that's what I do. I ain't got time for somebody that want to drive me crazy. This is the devil called break free from whatever it is. Alright? And be true to yourself. Let others be who they want to be because somebody here need to get it right. And here they come again. This is a love reading. Then check it out. Happy marriage. Huh? I don't know. Happy ever after. Emotions. Commitment. A loving relationship with children. A loving relationship with your children. Do you have children? Some of y'all don't. Okay, I have children. Shit, my son, do him. Sometimes I don't talk to him for days. All right? But I do enjoy my grandson. And I don't worry about what my son or anybody else got to think. Fuck it. It is what it is. I put him on the part of relationship. He don't want to talk to me. He want to act great. Then go the fuck on. I don't give a fuck. Yeah, because see, I can be... Let me tell you something. I'm in love with me today. I'm so in love with me, it's ridiculous. And I know how far somebody's going to push me, and I'm far, I'm going to let you do that. I'm not going to let nobody 
I don't give a fuck how much I love you. Come into my life and push me to the point where you are like testing me. The worst thing you can do is test me. That's the worst thing you can do. Okay? So, somebody is in a happy marriage, a happy after, ever happy, ever after, emotion, commitment, um, being in, in a loving relationship with your children, raising children wisely and successful people can that you can trust. So this is the happy, happy ending. Okay? To whatever it is. But remember, whatever this family or whoever it is or whatever it is, a relationship, you ain't got to have kids or whatever, but whatever it is, you got to bring balance to that. Because if you don't have balance to a situation with somebody you care about or somebody you want to make a life with, if you ain't got balance, you ain't got shit. Okay? Bending, uh, bringing the idea of others with your own. And that's what it is. You're supposed to be in a relationship where y'all can create everything together and inspire each other to be better and do better. Right? And when you do this, you will become successful. All right? Because... The power of deliverance is everything. Self-control, patience, and balance. And that's what you are. You are in self-control. You're trying to be patient with a situation. And you want to see the balance in it. In this relationship. Or whatever it is that you in. But let me tell you. You may never let nobody control you. Okay? Effort. And I don't give a fuck how much you love a person. Do not allow them to control you. And if they can't come to the table and work with you and discover all the beautiful things that Pisces can offer, then it's a problem because you need balance in this relationship. Okay? Eagle. Okay. Uh, this is someone is being mad. And I'm not going to call him. He Oh, he's going to call me or... She get on my nerves or, you know, shit, I'm not going to call her in or you saying I'm not going to call him or it's like breaking ties from being stubborn. Okay. But you're being stubborn, but look at this, but you're breaking free because this is a devil card. So the angels are breaking you free from open up your eyes and see things. Okay. Someone can be addicted to drinking drugs, pussy, dicks. Partying, um, pills, um, whatever it is, um, porno, um, phone conversation, uh, internet, um, YouTube, um, Facebook, Instagram, Messenger, uh, people are going crazy looking at this dumb shit, believing it's somebody loving them somewhere else and they don't even see it. <clears throat> <coughs> they never even meet these people. Some stupid shit that people do. Come on, wake the fuck up. Right? Because you need to break ties. And be your own boss. Don't be addicted to anything or anyone. Because at the end of the day, you got you. Alright? Some people now feel like, this is the time for me to get the fuck out of here. I raised my kids. I've been in a situation because of my kids. And it's time to, you know, do what I got to do. And if I can't find balance in this shit, it's time to go. It's the go-go. All right? <clears throat> I feel like you break it <coughs> free from feeling like someone always had their way with you. But now you're like, nah. If I want to be, if we're going to be together, we got to balance shit off. And I'm not going to allow you to control me like you did or whatever it is. You, they, they trying to do to control you, it ain't working. Because you definitely saying, nah, I break free of that shit. Either it's right or it's now or never. Okay? Either they're going to be right, act right, and do right, or uh, no, it can't be. All right? Um, It's like feeling like being trapped, accepting responsibility for, for the situation, and then make choices that support you 
in your path to be happy. Addiction and unhealthy habits. And that's what it is. You got to accept it for what it is. Either it serves you or it don't. And if it don't serve you, you need to go. Because the more you stay in a situation that it doesn't have balance or nothing, the more you become addicted to them. And here it's saying you're breaking ties from whatever it is that that person used to keep you there. It's like you're seeing everything for what it is now. Okay, uh-uh, the devil ain't got a hold of me. You say God do. Because that's what the Art Michael comes and strips your change and says, break the motherfucker, get on out of there and get into your own thought. And someone here is like, two people is like being stubborn about shit. But, you, but Pisces, you believe in it now you know your worth. You Like you, everything is becoming more easy and easier for you to just say, look, I ain't got to deal with this shit. Okay? Because you're in tune and you're not going to allow no one to take you back to where you was. And this got to do with a relationship that a, a, two, no, a, two people need balancing in their life, but don't need someone to control them or feel like you know, you got the best of me. Now, yeah, you're right. They get the best of you, but they don't know how to keep the best of you. They want to play with you like you some damn yo-yo. They want to keep you trapped into their shit. I don't give a fuck. It ain't that much dick or pussy in the world to keep me trapped. Especially when I'm coming to the table to make everything right. I don't do that. Because I'm not a nigga. I am a bitch. And I think men, I don't expect a man to give me everything. But damn, act like you're a fucking man and stop acting like I'm you the bitch and I'm the nigga. Now, I don't do that. All right? Because you got people here. Sometimes they want you to do everything while they sit there and watch fucking TV. Like their job is to come home from work, sit on the couch, eat, and that's fucking it and go to bed. They not trying to help you do shit else. It's a routine that they got. And it ain't right because your routine is cooking, cleaning. Doing work, doing work, doing work, doing work, doing work, doing work. While they sit there, go to work, take a shower, eat, watch TV, and go to bed. That's all they do. But you cook, clean, help, do everything for them. Go to work, go to work, go to work, go to work, till you go to bed. That's fucking crazy. And you need to get that shit right. Because even though y'all going through stuff or whatever it is, or you're breaking this addiction of feeling like you need to be with them. You're, you're being happy in your own place now. It's not like you. It's, these, it's two people that love each other, but they need to get it right. Okay? Falling in love or in a, a re, a searches of a romance relationship. Okay? Forgiveness and the uh, ending of a challenge. You, it's, you got to cry here, forgiving and end of a child. And that's what it's about. It's about, look, are we going to see eye to eye? Or are we going to move on from this? Or are we going to sit here and be mad at something real childish and stupid? Okay? Um, It's changing work. It's changing jobs. It's changing tours. It's doing something. You can't give somebody everything about you and they ain't giving you shit but a dick. It's more than dick, okay? Pussy, it's more than that, all right? Don't give up on the people you love. Don't give up on them. But it ain't about just dick, pussy, uh, let's go out for a drink, let's go smoke, let's go. No, it's more than that, all right? They got to come to the table with doing the right thing. It ain't about one particular or two particular thing that like, did whatever is on their checklist is check, check. Now, the list goes on. And if they can't fucking help you, then they need to be fucking nicer. What the fuck? I don't understand these people. And that's where you at right now. Okay? I feel like y'all had a misagreement and all this shit, but you seen it for what it is. But right now, it's two people that care or um, need balance in the life. I feel like um, someone, you broke somebody's ego because you, you ain't playing no more and they see it. They see it, but they still care. But 
they need to come right. And Pisces, you're like, ah, uh, while they stay mad, I'm going to make my money because fuck that. I ain't mad at no damn body. I really ain't. And that's the way you see it. Now you got the pair. You got the queen and the king. You offer them everything. Everything. Because that's what we do. Things are taking off. You still got a lot of love to give, but love is overflowing. And you're sitting there bored because when you're stubborn, you're stubborn, Pisces. You're very stubborn. I got this king here. Pisces. Gemini. I mean, Pisces, Scorpio, Cancer. Trustworthy, honest, devoted. Very cautious of someone you can count and trust. Okay? Um... They're cautious about who they can count and trust, okay? Um, a situation that is safe. A solid romance and relationship. A hidden is hit, but well intent with emotions. Um, this person probably don't show a lot of emotions. They don't show you that they really care. They don't, they keep a lot of things to themselves, okay? A charitable, beneficial, and seeking counseling. And this person, you know, can talk a good game. But then again, they might need to go see somebody because they're not good with their feelings expressing themselves. Okay, this king. All right. But here you go. You want to offer this person. You got a lot to offer them. That's the thing that makes me mad, Pisces. Y'all got so much to fucking offer this motherfucker. And it's like, are they worthy? Because this person is sent behind you right there. And even though maybe y'all not speaking or whatever or whoever it is or whatever, they're right there. They, they right behind you. Okay? A beautiful new emotion experience. A romance relationship or a deep friendship. Awaken the physical ability and the spiritual insight. A love letter. A new home. Someone, even though... They don't speak to you too much. They don't express they feel someone wants to come to you and offer you their cups. Okay? Someone is going to be receiving a text or a mail or, a, or purchasing something new. All right? All right? Then uh, you got the A again, the wands. Aries, Sagittarius, and Leo. Too much going on. Too much going on in your life, Pisces. You do got a lot. You got business. You got plans. You got a whole lot. Stress caused by many positive opportunity. And I just said that, right? Unexpected events or rupture change. The ability to moss task in a business travel. Somebody can make go somewhere. And guess what? And I'm going to tell you what, you get ready to go and it's going to change your life with this trip you're going to take. Now, still and all, and I'm going to say it again, still and all, your career and all, everything you're doing, all right? And that's your career because I just said when I, get, when I get upset or I feel like somebody's playing with me, I really go into my career. I really dive into doing everything I got to do, catching up with everything. But here, I still think about person i'm not uh a cold-hearted person right so here here it is check it out this person's here but look at this making a splash saying look back i'm right here what the fuck i'm still here you may not be talking or whatever you might got into a disagreement when you're not speaking to people with this person or whatever it is but and, but they're there, and they're making a splash because they want you to know I am here. While you sitting there bored to death saying, well, I wonder who's going to call who first or whatever it is. But so much love to give because you're underwater, and then you come out the water, all right? Because when you go under, Pisces, you go under, all right? When you say enough is enough, you go underwater and chill. But when you come out, it's when you say, damn it, I need to come out. Let's see what's up. And this person's making a splash saying, I'm here. 
right? Um, because you're sensitive, open-hearted, inexperienced, moody, a message regarding a relationship. This person is going to get in contact with you. A new emotion experience, a romance encounter, social, either you're going to be invited, social invited, social event. Maybe they're going to invite you to go out somewhere, okay? The highest psychic ability of all, and that's you. You got it popping. You got it going on. Let's move on, right? You feel like you're stuck in the mud and don't know what to do about this. The dragon is a liar, okay? Somebody uh, making lies or saying lies about shit, all right? Or trying to come to your castle because your castle is very well built. But they ain't nothing but fucking liars, okay? An unexpected visit from this dragon. Look at this encounter. You can't help it. It's like it's it's two people that it's a piece of work together. And I don't know. It's like they want to suck your blood, but they love you. They want to come, but they mad. They they just like babies, like big fucking babies. All right. Go to the sea. Go to the beach. Go touch that salty water because somebody's coming to give you a message. Go take time and chill. Enjoy yourself. All right? Yeah, enjoy yourself. It says you're going to be good, honey. You're going to be jumping for joy from a message you're going to receive. It's like, yeah, here we go. Because it is always round and round with this person or situation. All right? But it's time to go, honey. Somebody's getting ready to do something. Somebody's getting ready to take a flight, go on a vacation, uh, do business, travel, whatever it is. You getting ready to go. And there it is. Everything's starting to become smaller to you because you're not worrying about shit that you used to. It's not the same anymore with you. Rising above all, and that's what you do. When people challenge you, you're like, shit, I'm I, cheering yourself, taking yourself out for drinks. And uh, taking care of you, all right? And that's what I do. I don't care. I'm, I get busy. Choose a new direction. That's what you need to do. Don't go back to the old ways. Change your ways. Because that's the only way to do it, is to change your ways. It's up to you how you want to do this, all right? Recovering, okay? Change. Go to a new direction. It's up to you to recover. Do you want to do this or you don't? All right? Let your friends help you. Ask and, re and accept support from others. Somebody look like they, I don't know, get married. I don't know, need, want to talk about, it got church there. Somebody, is somebody getting married or maybe you're getting a proposal or whatever. And it says, stay optimistic about your love life. Positive thinking and faith will bring y'all Romance. Somebody is going through something or whatever it is. Okay. Um, I feel like maybe this person is seeing two women. All right. Someone is wearing a fake mask in this relationship. And I feel like somebody is seeing somebody that's ripping off of their money while they seeing you. Mm. But passion. Allow your heart and joy to sing. But they got to wake up and see that. Some, or somebody's sending somebody money. And maybe, I don't know, somebody's using somebody here. And it's somebody you seen or somebody you was. I have no, your twin flame. Into love, reconnection, re, um, reincarnation, passion, twin seeking union. Hey, sometimes people, you got to let people go so they can smell the coffee. You, should, you always have an altar around you. You know, I write God a letter every day. And I seal it and deliver it because I'm married to God. And I know that whatever it is that he's given me, it's going to be good. It's not going to be somebody that don't want me. It's somebody that wants me. This person is keeping up with you. It's either social media, um, um, watching you from a distance. Somebody's watching you here. 
transformation because they're going to go through that transformation whether they like it or not because that's the way God works. Okay, that's the way God do things. Okay, they can't get away with shit because it ain't going down that way. God said we're going to do it this way. And somebody is watching you. Okay, they watching you, sweetie. They watching you. Lovers, somebody is watching you. They wanting to come there. They wanting to make things bigger and better than what it was. They want to, you know, they see things that you like. They know that you are the shit, and they know that they never met nobody like you, never. Okay. Be cautious about shit. Okay, take your time. Don't be rushing shit. Stay strong. Stay strong in your spot. All right? Grow from this. Because that's all you got to do. You got to grow from all the lessons you learn from situations. But remember, this reading right here is telling you, no matter what it is, when people challenging you, Honey, you're not the same like you used to be. You really dive into you, what you need to do to grow. And I'm talking about phys physical, mentally, and emotionally. You are getting put together. And when they're challenging you, what you do, you go into the challenge of your money. It's like you don't chase this person or this situation anymore like you used to. Because it seems like you're right where you're supposed to be in your life. And that's the best way to be. On point. Talk to you later. If you need a private reading about this situation and where you're at and when you see yourself with a person and even though you may be with a person that don't talk to you or maybe you broke up with a person and you don't have no conversation, that person's thinking about you just like you think about them. I'll talk to y'all later.